Hello, my dear children. I'm here today with a new video for you. So now, we are in grade 7 geography English medium class. So in this lesson series, today I'm going to introduce you unit number one, first lesson. So, Pute, earlier in my presentations, I did a brief introduction about the syllabus, about all the units from unit number one to five. So, today we are going to discuss unit number one, the planet Earth we live. This is the name of the unit. The unit number one, the planet Earth we live. Upper G Watwana Prutu Via Kiana Brahaloka. So put in this unit number one, there are many lessons. Very small lessons are there, very big, longer lessons are there. So this is part one. Unit number one, part one in your grade seven book. So now today's Lesson is introduction to the planet Earth. We are going to have a very small introduction about the Earth. It is our planet. That is where we live in. So we are going to have a small introduction. So all of you look at this picture. What is this? When you look at the picture, you can see blue color areas. You can see green color areas, brownish yellow color areas. There's water and the land. What is this planet? It is our planet, planet Earth. So today in our lesson, we are going to have a brief introduction about this planet. So now, what do you know about the Earth? What do you know about the Earth? Do you know where is planet Earth? You can say it is there in the solar system. Sauragraha Mandale ne the teacher tiyenne. Yes, Pote, it is there in the solar system. But do you know where is it? In this solar system, how many planets are there? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. There are eight regular planets in the solar system. Among these eight, we are at the third place. We are the third place. So now... In the solar system, look at the position of our planet. Look at Mercury. Mercury is very much close to the sun. See, it is very close to the sun. So in Mercury, we can't live. It is very hot. It is burning. Then Venus also the same. But our planet, we are not too close. And also, we are not too far. So, we are not too hot. We are not too cold. We are in the middle. Because in this location, in this position also, we are in the middle. So this is the location of planet Earth in the solar system. You have to remember this beautiful location. We are not too far from the sun. We are not too close to the sun. So we are in a better place in the solar system. Because of this location, Planet Earth has many good features. We are very unique among the other planets. We are very special. 
Our planet is very special among the other planets. When we compare planet Earth with other planets, we are very special. So put in your school textbook. This is unit number one. So we are going to introduce this planet. Look at the first paragraph in your school textbook. This is the first paragraph. Look at this. The earth in which we live can be considered as a marvelous creation of nature. According to the available information, the Earth is the only planet that consists of air and water with a congenial environment for living beings. So, my dear children, this is a brief introduction. Let's try to understand this. The Earth in which we live. Api me jeevatvena prutuviya. Eke atule tiena devalni me kiyanne anne. It can be considered Salakanna Puluang Mukakvidyatada as a marvelous creation of nature. It's a very beautiful creation. According to the available information, why do they say like that? According to the available information, because it's still Scientists are searching for information. Tawamat megana vidyaknyo toraturu hoya minine. So up to now, then at a tiena information will atanu. Up to now, according to the information, the earth is the only planet that consists of. Menna me kiena deval o coma tiena kama grahalo kayata mailu api. Monavad. Air and water. Apito onetarang vayu arga tiena. We have enough water. We have a congenial environment. Some people believe these facilities are there on Mars. Anga haruge grahalo ket meva tiena lu. But Pute, we don't have enough information. We don't have enough information. So up to now, Earth is the only planet which has all these special things. So our planet Earth is very special. I think you understand this now. More about planet Earth. Look at the topic more about planet Earth. So now we are going to learn a little bit more about our planet. I have given them in point form. So put the all of you look at number one now. Number one. What is there? Up to now, it is the only planet with living beings. We don't know whether living beings are there in other planets. But up to now, according to the available information, it is the only planet with living beings. It has pure water. We have fresh water to drink. It is a very good quality in our planet. It has a congenial atmosphere. Which is very suitable for the living beings. We have enough oxygen to breathe. We have enough oxygen. And also for the trees, there is enough carbon dioxide. And many other gases are there. They are protecting planet Earth. So, Pute... It has a congenial atmosphere. It is another good feature in our planet. Now come to number four. 
there are other plant species not only people not only animal in this planet there are plants species vivida shaaka varg which supports the living creatures these plants are helping the living beings these plants are very helpful for the people very helpful for the animals even for the very little creatures so pote these are some special features on our planet you have to remember these things when you have the term test when you have the monthly test you have to write down these things so think about the grammar think about the special words you have to study them when you have the free time so more about planet earth look at this picture look at this picture this is our atmosphere this is our atmosphere we can learn about them in the future now i am just showing you the picture look at this this is our atmosphere it has different layers vivid stara tiyena me balan layer number 1 layer number 2 layer number 3 and number 4 troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere these are the different layers in our atmosphere they are having different gases so this atmosphere helps to keep earth not too hot and not too cold we are not too hot api godak ma unusum ne and we are not too cold godak ma sitalat ne so this atmosphere is very good for living beings so pute these are some special information about our planet earth so that is the end of my today's lesson a brief introduction to the planet earth so i hope you all enjoyed the lesson keep in touch with me you can subscribe my channel and then you can watch all my videos there i will help you with all the lessons related to grade 7 so pute i hope you will meet me with my new videos then we can learn the other lessons too thank you very much all of you